Welcome to EasyFM tutorial. In uh, this part, we're going to take a look at uh, skeletal meshes and animations. Since uh, creating a new skeletal model would take a bit too long for a tutorial, I'm just going to reuse uh, our example project and quickly show you how such basic uh, skeletal animated mesh looks like. Of course we have our our skeleton and different animations from raw to gear uh, being deployed and our actual mesh is of course different parts of it are weighted to different bones like this and when we export it to Unreal Engine it looks like this with with all the model and all the animations being all here and in our actual blueprint this uh, skeletal mesh is a root component and everything is parented to it the only uh, real difference between using skeletal and static mesh is that in EasyFM you can now select a parent socket uh, in other words uh, which actual bone will be sort of a root component same goes for gear if you leave everything to default it will try to pick a root component and another thing that needs to be specified is the physics model and what uh, you need to do is to remove uh, physical hit box from all the additional parts from all the elevators, uh, ailerons, landing gear and so on and only have like this basic single hit box. You can have um, additional hit boxes, however, they will not be taken into account when automatically calculating mass and so on. And uh, finally, we have uh, animations. This is done by creating a animation blueprint it looks like this and and this uh, controls how different animations are blended in depending on uh, inputs from flight model so it starts by applying the rest pose in other words a pose in which everything is just in neutral and then all additional animations are blended in controlled by inputs from the flight model so for instance uh, here we have each animation which is actually a blend space that blends between pitch up and pitch down based on on the input it receives and it's then additively applied to our previous animation and then same it's done for roll and yaw and for flaps there's no like other direction so, so we don't need to use blend space just uh, just single animation and its weight is controlled by flaps position same goes for spoiler and uh, Additionally, we have throttle, which is just like animation of of the afterburner flames extending and retracting, and there's additionally a 
event graph which controls depending on the same value how the material of the flame changes from black to like glowing red and uh, then we have uh, uh, more additive animations for landing gear this is our extension retraction animation and for each like uh, each strut of the gear we have a animation of uh, it being compressed by 10 unreal units upwards and uh, landing gear plugin can uh, in same way as EZFM output the actual position of the individual wheels hold on a second I can show you that here we have the compress animations and here we can from the gear get uh, how much is uh, each strut compressed and we can also get steering position so we can sync up our uh, animation of nose wheel turning left and right with it and finally once all animations are applied this goes to final animation pose and in our in our plane blueprint in our plane bl blueprint you can just select this final animation blueprint in here and this is the event graph of this animation blueprint and in here we can control uh, various additional things depending on on the animation for instance we can select our particle system attached to to our aircraft and control the parameter of this particle system for instance in here we control opacity of heat blur particle system depending on throttle positions in other words the more power you have set the more visible the heat, heat blur will be and you can even um, feedback data from animations back to the flight model for instance in here we can check the position of our landing gear and depending on that we can set additional drag which is a parameter I probably explained it earlier it's in it's in here and it's just additional drag that can be uh, added to our flight model from things like uh, extended landing gear of course it's possible to create um, animations even without use of of skeletal meshes like for instance in um, the example project the vapor cone that shows up when you're moving near Mach 1 is a separate mesh and it's controlled from the main blueprint from this event graph and as you can see it just gets the mark of the flight model and scales the the size of the vapor cone depending on that and when it uh, exceeds Mach 1 it will just disappear